Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing a recent incident that occurred in Boon Lay, Singapore, involving a 10-year-old boy and a black cat named Panther. We'll be sharing some detailed and factual information about the case without any bias, allowing you to form your own opinions on the matter. On December 14, 2022, at approximately 1.35 p.m., a shocking video emerged showing the boy throwing Panther off the 22nd floor of a Housing and Development Board, HDB, block in Boon Lay. Panther was known to be at least 15 years old and beloved by many residents in the area. After the incident came to light, the Animal and Veterinary Service, AVS, launched an investigation, which involved speaking to medical professionals, the boy's parents, and representatives from his school. According to AVS Group Director, Jessica Kwok, the boy underwent a psychiatric assessment conducted by a psychiatrist from the Institute of Mental Health. The results revealed that the boy had not attained sufficient maturity to understand the nature and consequences of his conduct. Taking into account the boy's young age and the psychiatric assessment, AVS decided to enroll him in a diversionary program. The one-month rehabilitation program, held during the boy's June holidays in 2023, aimed to educate him on animal welfare, animal care, living alongside animals, and the severity of his actions. The lessons were delivered in an age-appropriate manner to ensure better understanding. The practical segment of the rehabilitation involved the boy, accompanied by his father, visiting a cat shelter. There, he was tasked with properly caring for cats, including feeding, handling, and grooming them. AVS assessed that the boy completed the program satisfactorily and gained a better understanding of why his actions were wrong. During a debrief session after completing the rehabilitation, the boy expressed remorse and requested the AVS staff to convey his apologies to Panther's guardians. He also stated that he would not commit such an act again. It is important to note that the diversionary program is not a one-size-fits-all consequence for all cases involving minors. AVS stressed the significance of considering various factors influencing each individual case before determining the appropriate approach. In Singapore, people found guilty of failing to care for their pets or committing acts of animal cruelty can be charged under the Animals and Birds Act. First-time offenders who fail in their duty of care to their pets may face a maximum fine of $10,000 Singapore dollars, a jail term of up to 12 months, or both. For first-time offenders who commit animal cruelty-related offenses, the penalties may include a maximum fine of $15,000 Singapore dollars, a jail term of up to 18 months, or both. We hope this update sheds light on the case and the efforts made towards rehabilitation. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you find this content informative, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel for more updates on various topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.